I'd go 15 a piece and do for both of them. Would you do 30 for the pair? That guy's famous right there. He's the Cincinnati picker. Oh, no way. I don't think I'd say famous. <laughs> That's not the word I would use. All through the house, like, just work your way around this way. There's a basement as well, and there's a garage. This is a really cool piece. This is a mid-century modern uh, tension rod uh, with stands, so you can put candles or different things on there. And they've made some of these that have uh, lights as well. Uh, but yeah, this goes from the floor to the ceiling. Keep an eye out for these. They were asking 125 for this one, so I passed, but that's about what they're worth. I saw this lamp in their ad and it caught my eye. Very cool mid-century modern piece. These go for about $250 to $300, but they were asking $400 on this one, so definitely couldn't have bought it and flipped it to made any kind of money. What are you asking on the VCR or DVDs? 25 each. 25 each. Have you guys put them through their paces or anything? I have not had a chance to test those out. I'd go 15 a piece and do for both of them. Would you do 30 for the pair? No, nah, not today. Today I'm going to stay at 25 each. Split it with me and do 20? I'm going to stay where I'm at for today. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that would be so bad. Okay. Yeah. Can I buy all that for a little, I don't want that dog. This vintage rotary phone is a really cool. It's a wall hanging one. They were asking $25. These things go for about $40, this, these yellow ones. So I passed on it, but keep an eye out for the unique colors. Blue, pink, yellow, red. Those are the ones you want. The white and the black ones don't go for nearly as much money. They had a ton of these NASCAR diecast cars from like the 90s and early 2000s. They were new in packaging, but these things were mass produced. Really not much value here at all. More in the garage? Yes, sir. Okay. Can we hold on to that for you? Yeah, sure, if you don't mind. Carry it around? Appreciate it. Yep.
They were trying to get $200 for this old oil can, and it was halfway full of oil still. It's going to be it for today. All righty. Thank you much. Okay, you're welcome. Good luck with the sale. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. What's going on? Hey, how's it going, buddy? Good, man. I met you before. Yeah, I used to go up to your auction and get I stuff. remember that, yeah. Yep, how you doing? Doing good, man, doing good. Got a good day for this. Oh, man, you know it. Yeah. <laughs> you do a lot of, uh, like, pallets and return stuff? Pallets and yeah. units and yeah. stuff like that. That's great, yeah. man. Do you flip most stuff on Facebook? Yeah, some stuff on Facebook, a yeah. lot online, so yeah. online. Yeah. yeah, eBay and stuff. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I might have something for you. Let me let me look around. Think some uh, resale value. Yeah, I saw this was going for like I don't know twenty bucks or something. Yeah, I'll keep looking around, see what I can find. Let me show you, man. Uh, I'll show you my. So I got, I got a, like eBay store. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, but I'll I'll sell some stuff to you that's cheap, so you can make some money. I'm always looking. Yeah, for sure. It's a, it's kind of messy though, but. I think every eBay store setup is, man. You should see mine. That's part of the deal if you're going to be a reseller. Right. It's just a little messy back here, but you know why? You see it, big old yard sale, and this is it, man. This is like my eBay everything here. Awesome. A bunch of eBay stuff, but like some stuff, like for example, I can sell you like. Do you sell big stuff too? That's yeah, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Well, look at this. I got this rim. The only reason I'm going to sell this cheap is because I need a little money. But uh, let's see here. Balance this. That's good there. Cool. Um, so I got this rim here. This is nice. I have it on eBay for like two thirty-five. I've sent out offers. It has a decent amount of views. Fifty bucks if you want it. So it'll it'll sell for two twenty five. I had four four of them and I've sold each one so far. Seriously, yeah. isn't that funny how the way it goes? Like stuff will move quick like that, and then it takes a while for like for the last one to move for whatever reason. Like yeah, you just have to wait for that buyer to come along. Yep. Yeah, you got a little bit of everything here, man. You got books over here and yeah, I got model cars. Is this all listed on eBay? Yeah, it's all listed. But wow. I'll take it now if there's anything you're interested in and selling. I can show you the view count so you get an idea of how it's interesting the sales velocity on it. What do you go after? Normally? Anything and everything. Anything. Just things that I. It, the number one thing for me is sell through rate. Sell through rate. Like yeah. I'm looking at how many active there are and how many sold in the last 90 days. Yeah. And if it's low, don't most of the down. time I don't even bother listing the thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my thing. Just things that sell quick. Sell quick. Sales velocity. This here, I got, I got some of these in. I've sold four on eBay. Oh, they, those are cool. Yeah, it's heavy to ship though. Right. I sell them for, I sell two for three thirty on eBay. That's what no they kidding. sell for. Wow. And it's rather cheap if you ship it through FedEx. Oh, I bet. Yeah. FedEx, UPS are definitely the way to go. Yeah. Um, I might just stick with this for now. What do you want for that little guy? Three bucks. So. Is that fair? Let's do it. Appreciate you bringing me back here. Yeah, try to show you a few things. Yeah, it's all listed on eBay already, so you kind of know yeah. about it. Tell you what, let me get your number. When I'm out this way again, I could like spend a little bit more time maybe and just... Yeah, it's fine. Buy some. Awesome, man. I appreciate cool. it. Cool. Thank you, man. Good seeing you. Good luck Good to you. Good seeing you. Thank you. That guy's famous right there. He's the Cincinnati picker. Oh, no way. I don't think I'd say famous. <laughs> That's not the word I would use. <laughs> uh, YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. It's good seeing you, Tyler. Take hey, care, man. You, Back in the house, I only found a couple things today. I got that uh, vintage tin like spinning toy for five bucks, and I saw that sell for around forty. Then I found the uh, check engine diagnostic thing for three dollars from Tyler, and it's going for about twenty-five. I was really interested in those DVD VCR combos, 
but 25 is just too much to pay because the chances of them working really aren't that great. It seems like it's 50-50 that the VCR DVD combos work. So I like to get them for no more than 10. They looked really clean is why I offered uh, 20 each because they'll probably sell for about 50 or 60 each if they're working. So I was going to be taking a gamble on that. But with it being the first day of the estate sale, it didn't seem like he wanted to negotiate. Even though I didn't find very much today, I was really happy to run into Tyler because he took me back to his eBay room and showed me a lot of the stuff that he has. Sounds like he's wanting to liquidate some things. Unfortunately, I was in a little bit of a rush for time because I had to get back to the other side of town and get my daughter off the bus. But I will definitely be reaching out to Tyler and maybe shopping some of his stuff. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>